G'day guys, Chris Johnson here. Uh, played for the Fitzroy Football Club and the Brisbane Lions. Was part of the eight merging boys coming across uh, and then was able to go through and play in three premierships uh, in a great team and for a great club. When I finished uh, my career, I was uh, offered a role from uh, the great Lee Matthews to come on board as a development coach, which was a fantastic experience. I'd never thought about coaching before uh, at that sort of level. Certainly at a, at a junior level, I was uh, keen and, uh, to be able to develop some younger boys, but uh, to be at the highest level, to be able to be a development coach, uh, was certainly an honour and a privilege for the couple of years. Got a massive insight to what goes on behind the scenes in the match committee, uh, list management and all the operations that go behind the scenes into running a, an AFL club or an AFL team to get them out in the paddock on, on game day. So after my coaching uh, stint at the Lions, I, I then uh, quickly packed up our bags with, uh, with the family and, and relocated back to, uh, back to where I grew up in, in Melbourne. Um, from there, I then took a role with the AFL as a diversity talent manager, uh, which was overseeing uh, Indigenous multicultural uh, talent throughout uh, throughout the uh, the country. And then I was able to go on and be a part of the AIS Academy and coach the Level One boys, uh, up and coming uh, best kids of 17 year old. Um, try to give them a massive insight into what it takes to be an AFL footballer. Certainly, it was rewarding seeing guys now today running around uh, in uh, AFL jumpers on a weekly or a daily weekly basis and playing good football. So good results for myself and good results for them to uh, live out their dreams. Being able to move on from my, uh, my AFL job uh, at head office and then now work for AFL Victoria out in one of the regional areas um, in the northwest corridor uh, which I'm responsible for looking after football development through primary schools, high schools, uh, the local competition here in the EDFL Football League uh, in promoting football and raising the numbers up in uh, participation at Auskick level uh, as well as doing coaching accreditations along the way uh, which, is, which is a fantastic um, sort of way of sort of getting out to the community and seeing where football is. Uh, and now, uh, probably in the, you know a month's time or so, I'll uh, now start a new role up at AFL Victoria as uh, diversity uh, diversity talent manager statewide over Victoria. So uh, a new role sort of that uh, that I'll get my teeth stuck stuck into, uh, overseeing all the indigenous and multicultural talent across the uh, across the state, as well as building uh, some uh, indigenous and multicultural coaches to come through the ranks at TAC Cup level. Um, as well as uh, hopefully push them up to be AFL coaches at, uh, at, at one stage or another need to build uh, some more Indigenous and multicultural coaches within the system. So uh, a massive uh, challenge ahead of me uh, and really looking forward to get my teeth stuck into that. Oh, what an honour to be inducted in the uh, Brisbane Lions Hall of Fame, um, you know, along with all of those champions on that night. It means a lot. Um, you know, you sort of start your football career and looking at sort of the, the team uh, sort of uh, achievements that you want to get in premierships, uh, was able to achieve that, but certainly some individual accolades after you finish your football career, really the ones that you sort of sit back and you actually think about, uh, you know, your career, the people you meet through the journey, um, the people that come coming in and out of your life that, that have an effect on you, but certainly uh, being inducted in the uh, Brisbane Lions Hall of Fame is, is something that is very, very uh, close to the heart, um, obviously being one of the last Fitzroy players to be involved uh, in the AFL is something that uh, I hold uh, pretty close to my heart as well and to be a part of their, part of the club's Hall of Fame is just, uh, it's just, a, oh, just unbelievable, I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, you know in my first four years I was involved in three wooden spoons and um, you know, people find that quite a shock and you know you, if you work hard enough and, and you keep putting yourself out in front and keep knocking on the door you're going to get the opportunity. All the kids are playing football at the minute, so um, you know, three boys and a little girl, uh, Charlie, 
Uh, she's put the boots on this year for Strathmore. Uh, Aiden uh, playing for Strathmore and Preston playing for Strathmore and Lachlan as well at the same time. So uh, there's only one person in the household that's not playing football at the moment and that's Vanessa. So we're trying to convert her over to at least one game so we can probably uh, walk away and say we've all got one thing in common which is uh, playing a game of football.